In this video, I will develop a regression equation for this seasonal sales data with trend and use it to make forecasts for year 4. We first define dummy or indicator variables for the quarters. We define Q1 equals 1 if quarter 1 and 0 otherwise, Q2 equals 1 if quarter 2 and 0 otherwise, and Q3 equals 1 if quarter 3 and 0 otherwise. And thus, Q4 will be the baseline, that is, the reference quarter that others are compared against, or what we refer to as the omitted category. That is, if quarter 4, then Q1, Q2, and Q3 will all be 0. Note that any of the four quarters could have been chosen to be the baseline category. I'm going to begin here by creating a column for the dependent variable and call it sales and then drag year 2 and year 3 data into that column beneath year 1 data. I'm going to replicate the quarter numbers by copying 1, 2, 3, 4 from year 1 and pasting it for years 2 and 3. Next, I'm going to create a column titled Q1 for quarter 1 here and drag to the right for quarters 2 and 3. Note that we don't need to create Q4 since we've decided to choose quarter 4 as baseline. Now for quarter 1, I will enter 1 for Q1 and zeros for Q2 and Q3. For quarter 2, 0 for Q1, 1 for Q2, and 0 for Q3. For quarter 3, 0, 0, and 1 for Q3. And it will all be zeros for quarter 4. I'm going to copy that and paste for years 2 and 3. Since we have trend, we need to set up a period or T variable to account for increasing or decreasing sales volume. I'm going to type 1 and 2 here, highlight, and drag the fill handle all the way down for the rest of the periods. To generate the regression output in Excel, we go to Data, Data Analysis, Select Regression, and click OK. For the Y range, I will select the sales data. For the X range, I will select from Q1 up to period. I will check labels because I selected the titles and click OK. And here is the output. To create the regression equation, we only need these bottom left corner of the output containing the coefficients. The regression equation is therefore as follows. Here again is the regression equation we just obtained from Excel. And this table here shows us the period number for each year. Since for year 1 to year 3, t equals 1 to 12, then for year 4, t will be from 13 to 16. So, for quarter 1 of year 4, Q1 will be 1, Q2 and Q3 will be 0, and T will be 13. Thus, we can forecast sales for quarter 1 of year 4 by substituting those values into the regression equation as shown here. For quarter 2 of year 4, Q1 is 0, Q2 is 1, and Q3 is 0. T is 14, and the sales forecast is calculated as seen here. We do the same thing for quarter 3 of year 4. Q3 is 1, T is 15, and the sales forecast is shown here. Now for quarter 4, Q1, Q2, Q3 are all 0, and T is 16. Plugging those into the equation, we can obtain the sales forecast for that period in the same manner. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.